Gen, but what would be the point at this moment in time? Wow, I missed. Kill the shaman. 27, and that was a glimpse. Jesus. Right, slashing. Missed. Okay, we're after a fantastic start. Oh dear. Oh dear. I didn't even see how much that did. All I know is I need regen. Fifty-eight. Jesus. Does it be eighty? He did forty, so I have no idea. I wonder, can Valak be blinded? Holy Jesus. Majess. Uh, yep. That does a lot of damage. Like, far more than I was expecting. 106. Try throw send. Immune. Why are they always immune? Glimpsed and she did fucking 17. Oh, you've got to be kidding. I don't like how often he is attacking Nart. Like, that's a worry. 74. Oh, great. Regen again. Well, you use regen because it gives you a, a, um, an instant health benefit. This is definitely a tougher fight than expected. Um, right, okay. Don't use club. Shit, I need a rest. I wonder, if I use Healing Balm, I can use it on whoever I want. Oh, there. Perfect, then. Ta-da! Perfect. Just stab. <clears throat> I'll just have Nart focus on the healing. Slashing. Yep. 101. Regen on Amon. Should only have two attacks. Assuming no one misses. Perfect. And I win! Woo! That was a tougher one. He took up a lot. More than expected. Holy Jesus. We also got my armor and ammo master. Hmm. We got the hopper artifact. The heck? That was cool. Thanks, Olia. I owe you. You and the... Onurasi owe me nothing, frog boy. I'm just glad you are all safe. Alive and jump in thanks to you and your new friends. You a white pig fella? With all due respect, Custonian, no, I'm a hog bunny. Ah, champion. This world is completely crazy. I love it. Did Varluk do anything to the tree? Oh no, you got here in time, but earlier, earlier, earlier. It's been pulsing lately, like it's been having bad dreams. I don't know. Bad dreams? Beats me what's happening. It's a tree. Did you say Onurasi, the frog people from Cantu Island? Yep, I'm their custodian here. Most of them have moved deep into the swamps now, so I'm kind of basking in my own majestic presence. Uh... Valak dropped this frog boy. Must be ours. Quackalicious. My hopper. Hopper? Hey, for your help, I'll let you in on a secret. You have no idea either, Olia. Big secret. Big one. That Onorasi statue out in the hallway, go whack it with the hopper. I'll meet you out there. Okay? We're off to go whack it. Also, everybody leveled up. Woo! Oh, no, they didn't. I'm wrong. We also got this. Frog boy! A band of Drugos, led by the Drew chief Varluk, had seized the sunken villa because of the majestic frog tree inside. An Amni Spring. I've never seen one before, only read about them, how they supposedly stretch up to, s to the surface all the way from the core of Umbra. The custodian, a strange fellow called Frogboy, no I do not jest, was luckily unharmed. He is not a true Onorasi though, strange little boy, only suspects Valak was paid to disregard the treaty the Drugo Drugos have with the Onorasi frog folks about Frogmire. But we don't know why. No, we don't. We also got a new entry, which is for the boss which will have an entry. Valak Drew, humanoid, once part of the secret shadows in Brooker's Den, 
brawling, robbing, and slaying, Varluk's reputation succeeded him as he travelled back to his clan in the outer rooms of the rugged marshlands. A reputation that made him a formidable adversary when he fought and defeated the Drew of the Drewster clan and took power. Oh, so that's how their stings work. Also, we got more things. Like, I actually have a, a perk thing. Again, he can't do that. Neither can she, because she doesn't have access to these. Back. Right. I mean, I need two regardless. It might just be worthwhile going down two. Because we have resilience, precision, might, armor, magic. Might. Of course. Alright, cool. You have to go and smack it with the hopper. So what I say, do I actually get two? I'm assuming I don't. Here it is. Now since you have the hopper, you can warp. Go on, go ahead. Warp? Well, you never cease to surprise, frog boy. Oh, just wait. Crack you on the other side. Whoa. Oh. That does- that is why it's called a warp statue, I suppose. I did wonder that, like, before I started recording, I was like, hang on, these are called warp statues. Why not save statues? It just- for me, it was like, that's interesting. Right, to Plumpet Island. Woo! There's Frog Boy. Talents can only be swapped. Oh! That's sort of shitty. Whoa. Whoa, I'm dizzy. What is this place? Plumpet Island. Holy crap. Hmm. A crazy well-kept secret of the Honoresi. Well, it's well-kept-ish, I guess. Welcome to Gersween's mythical island. Mental, eh? Gersween? The Gersween? This is his fabled island? Go Gersween's nest. The old tide never managed to find it. I think they sent two expeditions after Gersween vanished. History, not my type of goo. Guess who? Gersween... Uh, Gliocas. He was High Owl at the House of the Owl Tide from 1777 to 18, uh, 1787. A mysterious man. Only Honorassi who have be, who've been a High Owl said to have had many secrets. Gersween's nest, this island, was rumoured to be one of them. History lesson. Boom. I'm just calling it Plummet Island. Plumpet, even. Plumpet? Why? Who knows? I like it. This place is great, let me tell you. Yeah, good to be back. You'll love it here. The farmery and its garden, soil which, soil rich with Amri, the Gallery of Custodians, Gersween's Library. Ooh! Come to the garden and the farmery first. Last one to eat, has to eat grass. Fun! As he takes a leisurely stroll over there. The hopper artifact was moved. Oh, does that mean you can only warp here every now and again? Or is it literally whenever? Holy Jesus! Wait, how many spots are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Not too bad. Hmm. I like you people, quite a turn. I'm gonna show you everything that Plumpet has to offer, and you can use everything here as you need. A mighty adventurer like you, Hogbunny, always has to restock now and then. Okay, the garden. Welcome to the farmery garden. The soil here is rich with Amory, the healthy dose, of course, and grows the most amazing flowers. Some Amon, my scavenging, gun-toting friend, are explosive and can be used as ammo. Oh yeah! Give it a try. Plant some seeds and harvest me some fruits. To get the fastest results, water the plants as they grow, not too much, not too little. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Agriculture! My second love. Keep your pants on, that. Jump over to the flower beds and plant the seeds. Then wait for the magic to happen. Yeah, waiting is... Blah. But the results... 
Quackalicious. I need three ordinary tender spuds and three mild list rose petals. Here are the seeds you need. So I guess I get two of the seeds. Rock spud miner. List rose miner. So a rock spud. Oh! Wait. Oh, I see. So that's like the good amount. Where is this? Huh. Oh, it's not actually all that bad. Yeah, you can harvest. You got three tender spuds. Well, I thought there would be a lot worse in terms of waiting. Harvest. Ah, oh, so whenever you harvest it, you take water off of it, I guess. That's cool. You should be all... You should be green like me because you've got some proper green fingers. Or was this all not? No matter, pro tip. Keep your plants watered correctly so they grow nice and fast. Plants can be harvested continually, and the more often you harvest them, the more stronger they become. Or the stronger they become. And sometimes nature serves up a surprise. Look after your garden, and it will look after you. Now for the finale. You've been waiting for... What to do with these spuds and fruits? What to do? Throw a stone over my shoulder and you'll find the farmery, where potions and super duper ammo can be crafted. Be on the lookout with your beautiful eyes for recipes, both for ammo and potions. Feel free to use the farmery in the garden whenever you like. Me Isla S. Su Isla. That's like me casa. S. Su casa. What the honorasi always say. At least that tipsy one. Hemloru. Yeah, I think it was Hemloru. Step on in and do some crafty crafting. Here, take this healing balm recipe. Oh, nice. Yes. Harvest and harvest. Oh yeah, we're not actually getting like spud blast, we're just getting tender spuds. Shoot. No, so it's in here. Okay. I guess. Oh, craft at the farmery. I can make spud blasts. Hey! Right, okay, so we don't need to worry about it, I suppose. I can't craft ten though. So with that you just need a jar of water and a rose petal. Nice. That was cool. Hmm. Jolly good crafting, my friends. Here, take this fire tongue miner seed as a reward for your hard work. Now, Plumpet has much more to offer. Let our tour continue to the library. Meet me outside Gaswine's den of knowledge. Last one has to eat paper. Oh, I see. I think the fire tongue one is probably to get fire blast. Or to make, yeah, to make fire blasts. Wow, this one does not require much at all. Oh god. That was almost terrible. Hmm. This is cool, though. Yeah, I like it. I think this one wasn't harvestable. More tender spuds. You always get three. And then the fire one's probably about, about ready. Near enough. Thing is, you can't tell when they're ready to harvest. Oh, it leveled up. Already! Which, I think when it levels up, it just means it probably just yields more things. So instead of three, it might give you six. Etc. That leveled up as well. They also get bigger, it seems. I think to level it up, you just have to harvest it ever so many times. It does get bigger, though. And if they take longer for them to yield any results, then that's also fine, because I get the feeling it probably means more. We'll see, we get three normally. And I'm spending a lot of time on the farming, but whatever. <laughs> and I'm assuming if you uproot it, you get the seed back. I don't want to test that out, but I'm assuming so. Yep, we get six. Well, what do you know? While I wait, I might actually go craft more things. Because we do have some of the fire petals, so I'm curious. Oh, right, we just got the fire spud. We can't actually do anything. 
sadly. Yay! Now that's actually a great way of creating spud blasts. One thing I do remember though, well, like when you f when I first played this game, which was quite literally the day it came out, um, I definitely know the story had changed, or like the way they set things up had changed, because when I first played, when we got to playing as Amon and Uncle, whatever the hell his name name was, I can't remember. They had 99 spud blasts, which got reduced down to 50. Yeah. And I know for a fact... There we go, we got that up to level 2 as well. I wonder how many times I have to do it in order to get it to level 3. I don't want to spend all, all my time here, but... I also don't mind, because it's quite fun to just... You know, harvest things. And I'm assuming we can come back here whenever we wish. If we can't, then that's sucky. There's another. More tender spuds! Woo! I think it'll be this to harvest next? Nope. I was wrong. Oop. No, 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 no. Didn't want to water it that much. Jesus. Harvest. Thank you! Yeah, if you just get it on the blue line, I think that's when it... Like, what causes it to yield a result faster than any other? as I spend forever on this. It's too fun! Nice! <laughs> Holy crap, you can make a lot of spud blasts in a short amount of time. For sure. It's kind of ridiculous. Uh, okay. And I also have a lot of uh, Lyceros petals, which means I could probably make a lot of healing bombs. I just need a lot of jar of waters. I don't know how many times you do have to do this. We'll see. Alright, come on. There's that. I think the closer you are to the bottom of the line, the better it is, or the faster it is. I really don't know. Put it all the way up to the top of it. Yeah, I think if you put too much on it is when it starts splashing water back at you. Which also might be where you, you overdo it. I just want to get one to level 3. There you go! Now we get 9 tender spuds. Holy crap. If I can just get all 3 to level 3, then I'll be, I'll be happy. It shouldn't take too long either, because the fire one... It's, yeah, well, I would say we've had it for a while. <laughs> I'm just spending so much time on this. It's great. Oh. If I press X to create, like, ten, it just uses up all that I have. That's nice. Alright, I think I'm gonna get nine tender spuds now. The question is, is this gonna give me anything before any el anything else? They're still wanting water. Yeah, I'll get all three to level three, and then I can leave. Oh, there we go. We get ten now. Oh, awesome. I was going to say, if it goes three, six, nine, that's just awkward. But no, it goes up to ten now. Holy crap. Not too shabby. I think one more harvest of the fire one will be enough to get... Um, a thing to level three. That's what I'm hoping. Do, 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 do. But it seems this is a place you should probably come to as often as possible. Just seems like it'd be a beneficial thing, really. Boom, level three. There you go. Woo. Right, now let's go to the library. <laughs> I don't remember where he said it was. I'm assuming the library is this big building in the middle. Ooh. Oh, that's another way I can go. Huh. It is not. Okay. It'd be stood outside of it, actually. So, just look for Frog Boy. Okay. 
He isn't over here either. What? Oh! Nice sand makes me want to take my boots off. Sure your nose could handle that? Funny. Oh. He's sensitive to smell. Very good. This library, where the bloody hell is it? Over this side? Ah, there we go. I found it eventually. Oh dear. Relax now, we're here. The library. Inside you'll find books. But you'll also find a talent recipe on the table. Grab that, we need it for crafting talents. Upstairs in the library above the knowledge you'll find chambers where you can nap. Heal up, quite comfy. I'm an out- but I'm an outdoorsman myself. Prefer the pointy pebbles and sticky grass to ease my frame upon. Feel free to use the library anytime, store any recipes you find along the way, and throw any party you like. My idea of party is a good book and a long-lasting candle. No doubt it is. Find me at the gallery of custodians after you grab that talent recipe. Ah, okay. Not too shabby. On the table. Oh, there. Earthmaster! Ah. God, there's gonna be a lot of dialogue for this, isn't there? Peculiar, five books here without any title. Oh, here it says... In the inside cover, knowledge is external, wisdom is eternal. The Chronicles of Gerswine Gleocast. Oh, holy soil, these are his... These are... This is the greatest discovery... Ever? Well, at least the greatest discovery I'll ever make. I cannot wait to read these, find out what happened to Gerswine, where he went, if he's... Alive? We'll leave you with the books later, nah, not now. Right, right. You're more pressing matters, my friend. I was gonna say, there's probably a cutscene for quite a lot of these. You probably read all these before, not? Nah. Some, yes, but here, the lost winds of the sea, Captain Baha's journey to no Rizzle and beyond, that's new to me. Is that all we got? Alright. There's a bird. Oh, okay. One thing I found really cool though, if we can go here whenever we want from the save points, then literally a save point will fully heal you from now on, which is awesome. And I really like that kind of thing, when you find a save point that does fully heal you. Oh, is that a chest? No. I thought it was. It looked like one. I'm from the desert, but it would be neat to have a boat. I'm from an island and I can barely handle wobbly floorboards. No thanks. You'll you'll learn to love it. Don't worry. Alrighty ho. There we are. So this is the custodian gallery. I just thought it'd be the library. Behold, my non honorasi whom I should probably not have revealed the secret to. The Gallery of Custodians and its massive tree. I get a bit chilly in it, I get a bit chilly in there because I am struck with awe and wonder. Like I've been struck by lightning, buzzingly hot chill, neck tingler. Pop on in and take a look around. You can craft talents in there and use them to update your talent boards. I consider you custodians as much as any custodian, so use the gallery as much as you want. Plumpet is yours too now. I'm a generous frog. It's all a bit fantastic, frog boy. Thanks. Don't get mushy, my friend. Oh, I just got the urge to start my very own business here. My sh a shop of specialties with friendly prices. You staying? What about Frogmire? Calm, my red head and fair earlier. I love all trees. I'll pop back to keep an eye on the villa now and then, but I'm setting up a chill base here. Come over and over to my tent after you've had a go at crafting talents. Is he? If I knew, he I'd tell you. Crazy? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. We got a blank talent. Okay, we're making the Earthmaster. Holy Jesus. Uh, okay. Ah, that's what this is. The title screen. Queen Lysa. She was the second queen of the Frog Folk and secured them safe passage to Kentu Island. When it is said they reside the, these moon runs. Okay. It makes it look as if the world is run by frogs. Kind of. I'm not sure, but I think this chap is the Wisp Taker. He is said to be the first honorary on Umbra, and supposedly, but I have to admit it sounds silly, 
he's said to still wander the world to this moon run. Many Onorasi claim to have met him. Oh. Cool. Alrighty. Let's do this. Craft at shrine. Ammo master. Wait, what? I can't make any of these. I only need a fine core and a fine plate. Increase all ammo damage by 25%. All earth attacks by 15. Defense against electro by 30. Ah. They're perks, aren't they? But it's a uh, earth core scale. Kaboom! Oh, we actually got ammo master. I see. I got a new uh, tutorial. It's probably to do with crafting talents and harvesting. Wait, what does that actually say? What are the plants that they collect? Co collect correct level to maximize growth speed. All ah, right, talent crafting. Ah, I can't do anything with them though. Actually, I could. Oh no, I couldn't. You can't remove them. I remember it saying it. You can't remove it. You can only swap it. Shoot. Oh well. Hmm. Right now we can go to his shop. Hey! Welcome to Frogboy's Funky Emporium, where money is not an issue. Sort of. You'll find the strangest things washed up on the beach here, perfect for my funky shop. Since you're my first customers, I'll run a special deal on a fire blast recipe. So special it's free, actually. I also run a quest office back here, so quick. Quick buy when you want to hear about that. Now behold, my shop of delights. Oh. Oh, the fire blast. Oh. And you can buy jars of water. Okay, so he sells basically things needed for crafting, essentially. Interesting. I am actually going to buy 10 of those. Actually, 15, because then I can probably make a fair few healing bombs. There's also these that I can harvest. And boom. Cool. Alright, we did it. Yeah, I want to see what I need. Tender spud and mild scotch set. Oh, wow. So that's... I had a th feeling it would be that way. I can actually make... No, I can't. I was like, I can actually make 30 of them, but not quite. For these, I can make... Yep. All. Oh, you can actually have over 100. Oh. Well, the more you know. Right, we did it. <laughs> God, really? No, stop it! Alright. Cool. So yeah, it requires three of the fire... set, whatever the hell it is. And some other stuff. Oh, we did it. Yeah, speak with him again. Quest office, sometimes... I like to get things done, I just don't like doing them myself. Right now, I'd like to restore Plumpet. This place was even more magical and fun fun before, when it used to be inhabited by barnacles. Exotic elemental, cutesy dootsy creatures. To restore Plumpet to its former fun fun and magicalism, ismness, you can track down and capture these barnacles and bring them here to the office. Okay. Hey, Quacky. First quest of Frogboy's quest office. A barnacle was sighted near the Zib oh, Zibirum Temple, east on the Nagali Plateau. A shuffle. You managed to capture it, we'll set it free here on the beach. These little guys produce elemental cores, in case you didn't know. Oh. That's it, I'm tired of passing on knowledge now. Feel free to buzz around the island. Friends, Quacky later. Ah, there we go. So now we can leave. Oh, that's the reason they took the, f the hopper artifact, just so you couldn't just leave. So now, finally, Mr. Tiger Moth, what was the message you had for me? Well, it's more like a question than a message, but put directly from High Owl Lady Lumia Risendale of the House of the Owl Tide. She asks if you, earlier Alec Barto, can see her as soon as possible. There's been a mysterious incident in the Great Archive. One of the ancient machines on display has vanished. Okay, why me? The High Owl fears it's an inside job. She couldn't trust anyone else. It had to be you, a straight owl. You must find who took it and why. Hmm, fair enough. Suvia is. Thank you. Uh, we're going to Suvia too. We'll learn more about this here old... ...disc. We'll come with you. A scavenger and a hog bunny. Hey, don't tell me you weren't impressed back at the villa. 
Impressed isn't the word I'd use. Very well, as long as you don't slow me down. No, man, we'll keep up. If you can't keep up with those short legs, Amon will have to carry you. Not a problem. One thing. We have to stop by Zaber. I have to tell Uncle Benjur where I'm going, so he's not up waiting.